What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here and today we are doing another budget deck of Commander. So this week we're looking at pirates, we're going to look at Malcolm and Breaches. What Malcolm does is whenever one or more pirate deals damage to opponents, you create that many treasure tokens for each opponent dealt damage. And what Breaches does is whenever one or more pirate you control deals damage to opponent, you get to exile the top uh, card of each of those opponent's libraries. Me cast those as third, and you may spend mana as though if they were mana of any color to cast those spells. And this is a partner deck. Another one, yes. <laughs> and we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, like I said, as always, this is just low cut, small budget decks. If you need to update them, put them in on EDH Rec, check them out. This is a blue red. <clears throat> so, yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. So, we're going to start with the creature base, which is mainly pirates. And it's not anything huge. I mean, you have some, but not a lot. So, you'll want to... Obviously, you're making treasure tokens. You're becoming the monarch. You're just doing a bunch of fun stuff. You can only be blocked by flying. Just just a bunch of fun stuff. Um, playing with attacking. They all have little different quirks and fun things to do. Counter. Um, but, yeah. So, you obviously can switch out partners if you want. Ghost is in here in Dargo. But I think these two are the best two that you can use for this deck. So, as you can see, there's a lot of different ones here. I think, and then back here is like your power hitters here. You can also switch out those two and, you know, make Zara your uh, commander if you want to. So, yeah. I just pretty much wanted to go through the creature base there, show you what one's inside there. I don't want to go over all the creature base because that would just take a while. There's a good hefty amount of creatures in this deck. They all do random various different things. And yeah, so with this deck, as always, some treasure tokens. <clears throat> Let's have a bunch in here because honestly, this deck produces heavy treasure. So we'll just keep those there. <laughs> and I always like to go over the tokens early, so... Salamander Warrior and Monarch Token also here. Just that's what they are. There's no double side to it. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool little combos. As always, this is gonna be just a quick video. So yeah. So a lot of things that are also in the deck are there's a few pump spells. So there's plusing on pirates, there's a chaining of land for haste, can't be blocked. <laughs> More pirate stuff for defense, auto attach to a pirate, and then just 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 some basic pumps. Um, can't have a blue deck without some board control counters here. So, I mean, mind static negate, bone to ash, horn swoggle exclude. Is it charm counter spell memory drain? Just basic flat, either counter spell or counter creatures. So, straight up there. Other board control cards for this deck I also run is Gale Strike, Runaway Together, Renegade Tactics, uh, Mutiny, Fall from Favor, and Claustrophobia. So, obviously, a couple of these, you know, like as you see, Renegade Tactics allows you to draw, bounce a creature, draw, bounce a creature. Um, yeah. Let's see here. And then Monarch. And these lock them. So, just a couple clutch board control cards along with your counter spells. Now, also, since it's a red deck, I mean, you have to play a few spells that just do some damage. So, there's a good chunk of board control spells here. Now, obviously, there's some pump spells. There's some draw power here we'll go over next. So, there's a good chunk of spells in here. So, there's room for this Thermo Alchemist. You don't need to run him. Um, he's not always necessary. Just nice to tap on tap, tap on tap. Just ping something to death. Havoc Jester. Make it a lot of treasure tokens. Sacrificing a lot of treasure tokens. It's a permanent. Sacrificing, sacrificing, sacrificing. Ping them. Um, do damage to each non pirate creature. So it's hitting almost everything on the board. That's not yours. So, unless you have a few random things like, you know, the Alchemist or the Havoc Jester. So, yeah. Is what it is. Sucks to be them. Uh, artifact or damage to a creature with a braid. 
Makeshift mutinies, so you can sacrifice a artifact creature, one damage, so for a cost of one. See, so obviously, you know, you just drop that, one, sack, t you know, just, just sack a, um, treasure token for the one. Sack another treasure token for the other one, for the one damage. Or you can just, you know, Havoc Demon, Thermal Alchemist, or Havoc Jester, I mean, sorry. So, those are just some nice damage board control spells get the pumps back on there obviously there's a lot better cards to be running that's why these are just budgets so the only graveyard play here so you can return target insert or card from your graveyard to your hand and then exile this so it's nice in certain uh situations you need to get back that claustrophobia you need to get a draw power card back so to begin a draw power um you know you got consider and then other stuff like here this kind of card draw two scry draw and they got marches here <clears throat> well this is the phase out i don't know why i put that in there that's my bad this allows you to pretty much look at top cards of your library x amount and then cast them so or you can play two of them but yeah um uh, okay, sorry. I was just trying to figure out why I put this in here. Sorry about that. Um, so Pirate's Prize. Obviously draw two cards, create a, create a treasure token. That's that's always nice. Winged words. There's some flyers in here, so knock it down a little bit. Preordain. Tormenting voice. Deep analysis. A master of memory. So just a little bit of draw power here. <clears throat> so, um, obviously, I, I always like to throw a mask memory on like a flying type creature, deal combat damage to a player. I get to draw two cards if I do discard one of them, just pitch one of them, you know. Some other wonky cards in this Wheel of Misfortune and Treasure Chest. So, Treasure Chest allows you to do a bunch of different things. Wheel of Misfortune is just fun times. <laughs> I'm just gonna put those there. There's not many mana rocks in here. You can throw a soul ring or something in as well. But all I threw in here was a fire diamond, sky diamond, and a is it locket. So you can always pitch the is it locket. Not always worth it for the two, but yeah. All right, so many multicolor lands and plain lands here. So Boilworks, Cliffs, Gilgate, you know, you're pretty much buzz budget stuff here. Uh, epith Temple of Epithy. Ep ep <laughs> I can't talk. As always in all my videos, I can't talk. Uh, you got your campus. And then you got Path of Ancestry here. Opal Palace. Command Tower, of course. And then your searches here with Evolving Wilds and Terrific. Terramorphic Expanse. And then you just run some islands. And some mountains. So, yeah, this is just pretty much. Fun, cheap budget deck. Still trying to figure out why I put that <clears throat> March of Swirly Mist in here. Why? Why did I do that? I don't know. There was probably a point. But if I remember it, I'll put it in the comments below or in the description. And yeah, as always, if you want to see like a better version of this deck and not the budget, budget, budget one, go to like EDA Trek, like I said, put in Malcolm or Breach, and then partner with the other one and check it out. There's so so many fun cards to play with this this is just a fun deck it really is i've played it a couple times um and yeah it just if it gets going it gets going honestly because you have so many quirky perks with all these different pirates um like you can use captive argus here or you know just be like hey look here's zara so yeah <laughs> it's just there's some win cons, just some fun stuff. You're just playing it out there. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, like the video, and obviously watch that other video that should be around here. And yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in for another budget deck um, for Commander. And yeah, these are still a work in progress, still kind of trying to figure out what I want to do, how in depth I want to go. So maybe next week we'll go into more in depth in another deck. Um, 
but yeah remember these are all like meant to be cheap you know put together to be played and have fun with not for competitive use they're just for fun they can be competitive but i mean come on you want to play and have fun don't you but yeah thanks everybody for watching i'll see you on the next one have a great day great weekend whatever time it is you're watching see you on the next one peace